Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Bloomberg just put out an article where their senior market strategist said that Bitcoin 60K is more um, likely than 20K. And I believe that, but not maybe because some of the same reasons that he believes that. I do believe that we did bottom out at about 29K around like a month ago. That's when Goldman Sachs said we actually bottomed out. But the next spur in Bitcoin uh, uptrend in price is going to be driven and crypto overall by NFTs. I don't think it's going to be DeFi anymore. DeFi had its time last year. And I think a lot of the rise from you know 3K to 60K was driven by DeFi. But this time it's going to be NFTs. And because NFTs are going mainstream, there's a couple of assets uh, sides of this. It's going to be celebrity based NFTs. And that's like mainstream adoption by famous people in NFTs. And it's definitely going to be in gaming right now. Now, other areas like music, and collectibles will catch on. You see Marvel going with Omi. You see uh, DC going with Omi as well. Um, but the gaming thing, I think, is really going to drive it home. The The community of gamers is huge, like tens, hundreds of millions of people across the internet. And the thing is, um, if you add an economy where they're legally allowed to make money while playing the game, and it's tied into the core of uh, the the game itself, that's going to make the game even more popular. And that means mass use of crypto. Like once hundreds of thousands of people or millions, tens of millions of people have value in these NFTs and uh, coins, they're not going to react very well to legislation that takes that value of that money away. There might even be like, you know, there might really be like people that get voted out of office because they suggest such things at that point. So like that's one way to really embed it very, very like, very, very at the foundational level in society and how to get new people on. Because I think once gamers get into this like uh, like DEX, NFT coins thing, they're going to want to dig deeper and they're going to want to invest in the coins that actually power these games. And that's how they'll actually get into crypto. Now, eventually that will lead back to things like Ethereum and Bitcoin because a lot of, and maybe Binance coin, because a lot of these games will tie back into the main chain and into the main game. Like, if you look at the decks, the only way you could actually cash out for a lot of these coins is that if you swap them back into Ethereum, back into BNB, or back into whichever chain they're on. There's a couple of on. There's a couple on Engine. Um, there's a couple. On, there's one or two on Solana, but and there's going to be some on Cardano and Polkadot as well. So people are going to pour money into these uh, into these blockchain ecosystems, and which ecosystem wins out is going to be huge. And this is where Ethereum and BSC have a huge advantage. BSC has a lot of popular games too. Of course, Ethereum has some, but BSC has a lot of popular games too. And despite the exploits in BSC, um, people are still using BSC to actually run these gaming things. So like they actually have a vibrant community. Cardano and Polkadot's gonna have to do some catch up uh, when they finally get in on the game. So, but this actually just gets like common everyday gamers into cryptocurrency. That gets more money in, that gets more investors in. And that gets a lot of teenagers in and maybe like people in their 20s and even 30s in that wouldn't have uh, uh, otherwise been in crypto. So I think the next few months you're going to see this like really blow up and that's going to basically make um, crypto blow up again, possibly to 100,000 or more. Now, the thing about this is like this could actually make the flipping faster because very few of these, there's only, I think there's only like one real game that's on BTC. So the ecosystem for other uh for other like networks like Ethereum, BSC are much larger. And I'm sure when Cardano and Polkadot come up, they're going to be quite large too. So it, Bitcoin really won't have the support of this kind of like blockchain gaming community. And I think that's going to raise the price of these mainnet tokens through the roof. Now, I don't really know which mainnet's going to have the most games eventually. Right now, it is a competition between BSC and Ethereum. But like I said, once Cardano comes on and Polkadot comes on, I'm sure like projects will move to that. And that's one thing to watch. Like, Whichever one of these chains is collecting the most like of these NFT based games, that's probably one you really want to invest in in the future because that just gets a lot of people on that chain. So, and I think eventually it's going to be one of these mainnets that flip Bitcoin. But since Bitcoin really doesn't have that much development in terms of like NFT games, and it really can because the blockchain is really slow and uh, transactions just take too long, I do think that like it's actually going to be sooner rather than later probably less than like five years where Bitcoin's going to get flipping. It could possibly happen like next cycle 
or like maybe even this cycle, if Ethereum or Cardano or Polkadot get really, really hot, especially with these games. Because when gamers come on, you got tens of millions of people that can really push a coin really high, especially in a bull run. If Bitcoin rises to 100,000, I mean, the market cap of like some of these gaming networks, like, you know, Ethereum or BNB, possibly Cardano, Polkadot, if they catch on, can go exceptionally high. So I do think that will be the next spurt of the bull run. And, you know, like we might actually have some of these tokens with a lot of the games that they have actually uh, decouple from BTC in that method because their networks are going to have so much usage and these NFTs and games are going to spur up so, so much that they could actually bump Bitcoin. So that's what I think for right now. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.